Dobbins Bennett had the best finish of any team at the Arby's Classic this year locally. The Indians finished sixth, winning their final three games of the tournament. DB playing their first game post Arby's tonight at home against Cherokee. Chiefs, they were hanging tough early. Braden Gilliam drives to the hoop, goes glass for the visiting Chiefs. Back at the other end, the Indians' big man inside, Charlie Browder. Well, reverse lay in there. Ray Foreman, he was a big catalyst in their win over Gate City earlier this week in the Arby's Classic. He hits a long two right here. This game was tied at halftime, but the Indians exploded in the second half for 54 points. They win at 85 to 50. Just down the road, Sullivan South hosting Elizabethan Cyclones. They go inside to Carter Everett. He just announced on his Twitter page he committed to Tusculum to play football, so congrats, Carter. Now let's go to the home team, Ben Diamond. He pulls up and is going to hit the little jumper here for the Rebels, but it was not enough. Elizabethan gets a win, 58-54. to 54. Let's go across the state line. Bristol, Virginia, Gate City visiting John Battle. Zach Irvin, the newest member of the 2,000-point club. He did that earlier this week, early on tonight, padding his rebounding stats. Good second effort there inside. At the other end, Isaac Deal. Mike's finish with the left hand for John Battle. Back to Gate City, Irvin attacking the basket, goes glass. And then Irvin eyes up his defender, knocks down a three. Gate City wins by 10. Irvin had 33. Gate City wins 73-63. We'll stay at John Battle now for the girls game between Gate City and the Trojans. Gate City gets the defensive rebound here. And then we throw an outlet to Sarah Thompson. And she's going coast to coast there for an easy two. John Battle trying to get back in this one. Bethany Smith three ball from the wing. But the Blue Devils, they were too much. Riley Houseright finishes with the left hand. Gate City wins at 53 to 25. Let's go back to Kingsport for Cherokee and Dobbins Bennett, reigning News 5 Player of the Week, Harper Russell. She had a big night for the Chiefs. Sizes up the defender, says, you're going to give me that? All right, I'll take it. She had 28 points. The Indians, though, too strong. They're leading the Big 7 Conference right now. Megan Ayers, she hits a three. And Caitlin Wallace, she'll stop at the top of the key and Knock down a long two here. Courtney Whitson not pictured at 24 points. DB wins by 20, 62, 42. Let's go back to Solvin South. Lady Rebels, Lady Cyclones. Rebels on the run. Mackenzie Littleton almost loses it, but she finds Abby Compton. Pulls up, hits the two. Let's go to the other end. Cyclones crashing the boards off a miss. Kaylin Shell gets the friendly roll and the foul. Too much South, though, in this one. Littleton keeps it herself. Hits the runner in the lane. Rebels win at 53 243.